Since its grand opening two weeks ago, this bridge has become a hot spot for things like street takeovers, haircuts, and wild stunts on social media. Police were forced to shut down the viaduct again yesterday due to illegal activity. It happened for the second night in a row. KTLA 5's Gene Kang joins us live from downtown LA with the very latest. Uh, you've been talking about how you've seen it change from 6 a.m. when police weren't there, then things kind of cleared out. Now everything looks back to normal, but I still see police uh, on the scene there. Yeah, good morning, Mark and Lynette. You know, police are still on the scene here, and uh, if you want to take a look at this, look at the bridge itself. This is brand new, the 6th Street Bridge. Look at those skid marks from street racers, street takeovers. It is just a mess this morning. Along with that is some criminal activity. Now, we're trying to find out exactly what's going on with the police cruisers over there. They're talking over, over there to the gentleman with the pickup truck. Uh, we're not exactly sure if he's getting a citation. We saw a paramedic arrive earlier, but this is part of all of the unwanted activity that's on the bridge, people parking here illegally as well. Now we're going to zoom over uh, before we show you that before and after video. Uh, John, if you see here, this is a fence that's being put up so that people do not climb the arches of the bridge. That's also been happening. So this has been shut down not once but twice. Take a look at this. This was at about 6 a.m. this morning. We were driving the bridge with Drive 5. We saw more than a dozen cars illegally parked on the bridge. Some people climbed the arches. Others walked in the median recording drone footage. A lot of activity, some of it illegal. Now, what a difference. Just about an hour later, about 7 o'clock in the morning, LAPD police cruisers arrived, and suddenly they told people to leave or they're going to get a ticket. So cars then moved off the bridge. Then they cleared away other criminal activity that was going on nearby as well. That all happened within 30 minutes. So that was a night and day difference when law enforcement showed up. Well, recently, police shut down the new 6th Street Bridge twice. As I said earlier, LAPD has cracked down on crime, warned that they're going to be out here in full force for days to come. The bridge has attracted everything from speeding cars, street takeovers, to people climbing the bridge and the arches, crowds with people taking selfies for those viral videos as well, and more unwanted activity. Now, this is the second time in a row LAPD had to close this bridge for a few hours, then open it back up in the morning. Some neighbors demanded that people respect the bridge. They were out here with signs the other day to to try to keep this safe and LAPD says they closed the bridge for those several hours after they saw dangerous street takeovers being planned on social media so they were proactive they say they're ruining everything for tourists and Angelinos alike have you seen the street takeovers people trying to climb these arches parking their cars here yeah, illegally yeah. well not only is it dangerous <laughs> it's, it's, it's not it's not good for the community like it's, it's, it looks dirty Right, and people could get hurt. I think this this bridge was closed for two nights now, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then some even some people are coming over to just visit it and see for themselves. But now they couldn't even experience it, right? Yeah, we had our uh, heads heads being scratched. I guess you could say when we saw some strange behavior. People getting uh, haircuts in the middle of the street with traffic going by. Uh, a lot of folks here are just really confused and upset that this half billion dollar bridge that connects Boyle Heights to downtown LA is being. Um, desecrated like this, you could say. There's been uh, graffiti artists who have shown up. Now, back out here live, uh, we're just monitoring that situation with the police cruisers. Uh, the man with the pickup truck has been here for quite a while. Uh, but this is really supposed to be used for biking, walking, people driving, commuting here from uh, East L.A. to downtown L.A. But as you notice, there's even more police officers showing up this morning.